Welcome to No Excuses. My name is Mary Fran and this is my place to talk about weight loss, fitness, health, being the best version of me. That sometimes includes dollhouses, which you can see behind me, the two that are in progress. It's making me the best version of me possible. Thank you for joining me. I hope that you would like to join me on the same journey of making yourself the best. It is early Friday morning. I just had my way in for last week and I did find out that I did gain a little bit. There were things that happened and I was off the rails, but I am determined that this week I am hot on the trail of weight loss. Gonna do it, got this. On a weekend, we did get out a little bit to go hiking and biking, and we even hit a few grocery stores. Yeah, <laughs> oh, hmm. Maybe not. Don't think that's quite me. Is this one better? Very spooky, baby. Yeah. Come kiss me. <laughs> okay, so I'm outside on my lunch break. Number one, I wanted the walk. Number two, I needed some fresh air. And number three, I just needed to get away from the general down and depressive to chat about the coronavirus. Rumor has it that someone in my building is symptomatic and has had direct contact with an infected person. Not my company and not my floor. But we share the elevators and the lobby bathroom and the cafeteria. So I'm outside enjoying the 50 degree weather today. We'll see what goes on. We have another lunchtime walk. And this is what we see today. So without the traffic on the roads, my 25 mile commute, which usually takes me about an hour to an hour and a half, only took me 30 minutes this morning. And it took me 30 minutes to get home. This is unheard of. So I'm actually taking some of the extra time to take a little walk. There is a bonus to this coronavirus thing. It's scary what's happening. There's a lot of fallout that could happen and I'm trying to not worry about it. So being outside is one way to kind of try to not think about it and let my mind refresh. I would refresh better in the mountains, but you know, sidewalks outside, the second best. Normally by this point, there are cars everywhere in this parking garage. I see two cars. I feel like a huge failure. I'm gonna to have to come on here again and say I gained. Is it stress that caused it? I don't know. Is it whatever? I don't know. I just know that this week was rough. I'm thinking maybe emotionally it was rough. I did get into the icing. I had a container of icing and in the evening I would get a spoonful of it and eat it. It was tracked, it was accounted for, but Maybe that just threw me over the edge. I don't know. You may get a number, you may not. We'll see. <sighs> Breathing deep, taking this all in stride. There are some changes that are most likely almost definitively coming to me. They're most likely gonna be just temporary changes while our world is in upheaval. I'm planning on using these changes as an opportunity to really get myself in line. I will know for sure how things are playing out by the next weigh-in report, so you're going to hear something for sure. And I am just going to try to turn these opportunities and this upheaval from coronavirus and the changes that are happening into an opportunity to make my life better. There are no excuses. 
it is what it is. Life moves on. I'm just going to roll with the punches and I'm going to fix this problem. I am going to lose weight. I know I am. Life is going to get better for all of us. Hang tight, people. Stay healthy. No excuses. And I'm going to take steps to try to make these next couple months of uncertainty. And I'm going to try to take... So that said, and I'm just going to try to use the opportunity that is being afforded to me with the lower commutes with these other, and I'm just going to try to use the, and I'm just going to try to use the opportunity 